Hello everyone, Abhishek Singh here. Welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is interview questions. So this is uh, level one of the series of the interview questions. And this is covering all the basic questions uh, for entry level or someone who has basic knowledge about JMeter. So let's get started. First question is explain what is JMeter. So JMeter is an Apache project that can be used as a load testing tool for analyzing and measuring the performance of a variety of services with a focus on web applications. It is an open source software, a 100% pure Java application. It is originally designed for testing web applications, but has since expanded to other test functions. How JMeter works is the second question. JMeter is used to simulate varying or heavy loads on singular or multiple servers, networks or objects to test a system's strength. JMeter works by simulating group of users that send requests to a server or network then returning statistics back via graph of tables. In our case, it is listeners which is giving us graphs and tables. What are the various application server protocol type JMeter supports? So obviously web, SOAP REST web services, FTP, database, LDAP, message oriented middleware via JMS, mail, native commands or shell scripts, TCP, Java objects. Fourth question, list out features of JMeter. It has the ability to load and performance test many different applications, server, protocol types. It has a full feature test ID that allows fast test plan recording. We have command line mode existing for executions. We have a dynamic HTML report generation. We have easy correlation through ability to extract data from most popular response formats like HTML, JSON, XML or any other textual format. We have complete portability and 100% Java purity. By portability, we obviously mean that uh, if we are creating the JMeter test on Windows, it can be taken to any other operating systems. It is not operating system dependent. Full multi-threading framework allows concurrent sampling by many threads and simultaneous sampling of different functions by separate thread groups. Caching and offline analysis slash replaying of test results. Is JMeter a browser? No, it's not a browser. It works at protocol level. It looks like a browser, however, it does not perform all the actions supported by browsers. It does not execute the JavaScript found in HTML pages. It does not render the HTML pages as a browser does. However, it is possible to view the response as HTML, but the timings are not included in any samples. And only one sample in one thread is ever displayed at a time. Sixth question is, what is thread group in JMeter? It is the basic element of test plan. So whenever we go to the test plan, right click the first thing we do is we create a thread group. So that is the basic element of the JMeter test plan. Thread group is actually a group of threads executing the same scenario. So by threads, we mean users. It holds the test element. So whatever we are creating, we are creating the samplers, we are creating the listeners, we are creating the configuration elements, whatever everything is inside thread. So it holds the test elements. Every thread represent one application under test. In thread group, you can set the number of users and time to load all the users given in the thread group. Now, what is ramp up period? Ramp up period is something which you can set in the thread group. It is actually the amount of time in seconds JMeter needs to load the amount of thread slash users for the test. So let's say if we are mentioning in threads, as number 10 and our ramp up period we are mentioning as 10 so ramp up period is given in seconds so that means all the 10 users we want jmeter to load in 10 seconds and that particular 10 seconds is called ramp up period coming to the eighth question what is difference between stop test and stop test now in jmeter so you would have seen this radio buttons in thread group and these buttons will be activated when a sampler error is coming. The difference between stop test and stop test now is it will be activated in case of any sampler error. In case of stop test, 
it will wait for any active thread to be completed in case of stop test now it will not wait it will immediately stop any active and it will stop without any active thread completion now what is sampler sampler allows j meter to send specific type of request to the server the list out few samplers available in j meter so i have listed out few samplers here uh, but there are uh, few more so http the most common sampler jdbc request java request jms subscriber junit request ldap request mail reader sampler os process sampler tcp sampler now what port number is used in http request sampler for https request so we are talking about https request what by default port it uses so the number is the answer is 443 now the next question is what port number it uses in case of http request so non secure websites what is the by default port number the answer is 80 how to analyze results in jmeter so what do we need to analyze how do we do that the answer is listeners what are listeners these are the component that shows the results of the samples which is used for analyzing and reporting results now the next question is list out few listeners in jmeter so view results tree view results in table summary report aggregate report aggregate graph assertion results comparison assertion visualizer graph results response time graph simple data writer generate summary results now the next question is what is throughput so this is often a confusing term but let's take a look so throughput is actually a measure of request per unit of time now coming to the actual definition or in terms of understanding the calculation of the time begins from the start of the first sample to the end of the last one so basically it is the amount of transaction that happened over the test duration the next question is what is standard deviation standard deviation is how the response time which we are getting is spread around the mean time a general thumb rule is the smaller the standard deviation response time is more consistent now standard deviation measures the mean distance of the values to their average it gives you a good idea of the dispersion or variability of the measure to their mean value it is actually calculated by the formula this the equation shows you how the standard deviation is calculated the next question is what is connect time connect time is actually the time taken to establish the tcp connection between client and server using tcp handshake so whenever we are trying to launch something or to connect to a server the time taken to establish that connection now an additional point is if the tcp handshake is successful then obviously you'll be able to get some response if not then the client cannot talk to the server now what is latency in jmeter latency is a meter that measures the latency from just before sending the request to just after the first response has been received so thus the time included includes all the processing needed to assemble the request as well as assembling the first part of the response which in general will be longer than one byte this might be confusing and for a one liner we can say that the time we started getting the first byte of the response is what is latency time coming to the 19th question what is load time load time is actually the total time taken by the request in which it receives the full response from the server coming to the 20th question what is the extension of the test files in jmeter so whenever you create a test in jmeter and when you try to save it what is the extension the answer to this question is jmx dot jmx now in case of aggregate report listener what do we mean by 90% 95% and 99% claim so it means in case of 90% claim it means that 90% of the request got completed before this much time in case of 95% it means 95% of the request got completed before this much time and obviously similarly 99%
what do you mean by min and max in summary report listener so this is pretty easy min represent the minimum time it took to complete the request and max represent the maximum time it took to complete the request now what is assertion in jmeter when you are trying to validate something so assertions are validators it is used to verify and validate the response of the request sent to the server now what are the different types of assertions in jmeter we can do a response assertion we can do duration assertion size assertion xml assertion bean shell assertion md5 hex assertion html assertion xpath xpath2 xml schema jsr223 compare assertion and the list goes okay coming to the 25th question what mode should be used for load testing with jmeter so when you are creating your test map obviously you will use the gui but when you are trying to run a load you should be using the command line the cli slash non gui mode now can you execute gui testing using command line we do not want to click on jmeter dot bat and launch jmeter can we do that yes or not and if yes what is the command yes we can do that and the command is open command prompt and just type in jmeter.bat in case of windows in case of linux jmeter.sh and that will launch your jmeter in gui mode hyphen p is property file that is something which is optional it refers to jmeter.properties so you can refer by default jmeter.properties without entering it or if you want a custom jmeter property to be referred then you can use this command hyphen p and then whichever location you have placed it coming to 27th question how to run jmeter test using command line for non gui mode so you open the command prompt and type jmeter.bat hyphen n which is for non gui hyphen t means you are telling the location of the test file whatever is the test file then hyphen p if you need it property file then you need hyphen l telling that where you want to save the results so you need to provide a location and uh, hyphen j log file now the next question is how to generate the html reports in jmeter using command line so you open command prompt and you type jmeter.bat hyphen n hyphen t the test file and then hyphen e and hyphen o is there so hyphen e is used for uh generating the dashboard and hyphen o is telling where do you want to generate the dashboard for this particular command we need hyphen l as well as a mandatory because uh, this html report is generated based on the csv results file what we get generated now coming to the 29th question what is the latest version of jmeter so often this question is asked what is the version available latest or what version you are working you should have an idea about the version latest version of jmeter as of 27th august is 5.5 .5. now how to generate html reports in jmeter using command line so we write open command prompt and type jmeter.bat hyphen n hyphen t and hyphen e and hyphen o this covers the topic all 30 questions thank you very much if you like the video please like share and subscribe and let me know for any feedback in the comment section thank you very much bye bye